Callouts have always been one of the most commonly used blocks in Notion. They look nice and they serve a variety of purposes. And personally, I use them all the time to help guide users as they become oriented with a new workspace. But callouts have always been limited by their function as a single block rather than a container for multiple other blocks. And this has prohibited even simple paragraph breaks and formatted lists, much less images, videos, bookmarks, databases, and the other rich content that we often use in Notion pages. But that changed recently when Notion subtly introduced the ability to use blocks within callouts. So let's take a look at precisely how it's done. So like I said, one of my favorite uses of callouts is to provide guidance to help users become oriented with a new workspace. And they're particularly helpful within database templates. So most of the databases I create include a projects database and a related tasks database. And then within the project template is a linked database that displays the tasks that are related to that particular project. And for standardized projects, I often have pre-configured tasks within a toggle. So the user can kind of selectively choose the tasks, drag them into that tasks database, and that's going to add them to the master tasks database and automatically relate them to the project that's being created. So to provide the user with instructions for doing this, I typically include a toggle above the tasks database. And in the past, I've had to get creative with line breaks and M dashes. But with the ability to include blocks within callouts, I can now nicely format numbered lists and use other features to provide helpful information to the user. So when you're creating blocks to go within callouts, what you're first going to need to do is create them outside of the callout. So we'll just take those makeshift bullets and turn them into real numbers. We'll highlight them all to choose that yellow color. And then we can drag them back into the callout block, and that gives us our nicely formatted numbered list. Now, there's another way of doing this. Rather than creating the callout and creating the independent blocks to go inside of it, we can just start with a child page of this container page. So we'll create a page. And then as the title for the page, we can use the top line of the callout. Then within the body of the page, we can include the blocks that we're going to want to include within the callout. In this case, our numbered list. So if we go back to the template and scroll down to that child page, we can then convert the child page to a callout block. And that's going to give the title as the top line and then include all of those individual blocks that we created within the page. So we can choose our nice yellow color here. And now this callout block is a direct reflection of this callout block. So one other consideration that you might make when using blocks within callouts is toggles. So instead of having your entire callout visible, if you have multiple items or multiple kind of sections within your callout that you want to include, you can use a toggle block to fold up some of those items so that you're never viewing everything at a single time. So if we just type section one here, for example, we can highlight the numbered list and drag them into the toggle so that the user could then expand the toggle to see that particular section of content. So we might have a few different sections here and we can make them all yellow as well. And then one other consideration is that you might want to wrap your callout block in a sync block. And that way 
Anytime you want to make an update to these instructions, you can do so in any instance of that synced block, and the change will be reflected in every other instance of the synced block, whether it's right here in this template or within a project that you've already created. So that's how we can now use blocks within callout blocks. And if you have any questions as you experiment with some of these new features, feel free to tweet at William Nutt. And also be sure to check out the Notion A to Z link within the video description. It's an exciting new project I'm working on that I think that you'll appreciate.